Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different SDI to HDMI converters that are out there. There's quite a number to choose from, uh, especially in the budget range. Uh, so we're just going to go over some of these, some of these budget-friendly options that are available. Talk about the pros and cons of each, why you might select one versus another, uh, and just kind of talk about uh, different capabilities of each one, um, what's included in each one of the different units that are out there. So, uh, hi everyone. My name's Doug Johnson. I'm with Doug Johnson Productions in Orem, Utah. We do live video production, things like concerts, sporting events, that kind of thing. And as part of my part of what I'm doing, I very often have to interface with HDMI equipment, even though I primarily work with SDI and fiber. Uh, there are a lot of times that I need to interface with HDMI. Uh, so what we've got today, I'm talking about some of the different converters that are out there, so ones, the ones that I've used and what I think about each one. And as part of the, uh, I'll be actually be running some tests here on them in a bit. Uh, as part of those tests, we'll be showing the converted HDMI output compared to the, S, the native SDI signal. Uh, see if there's any delay, that kind of thing. Um, so, with that, I'll just jump right in. Talk about the different models that are available. So, so here on, on on the right, we've got this is one of the many, 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 many generic uh, products, products that are out there. Uh, seen uh, these under any different number of names on eBay and Amazon. Typically sell for about thirty or thirty-five dollars. Uh, just to the left of that, we have a unit from AV Matrix. Uh, this is the SC1112. Uh, it converts SDI uh, to HDMI and has an SDI loop throughout, as most of the other ones do. The first one does not. It allows you to daisy chain from one to unit to the next. Next, uh, we have the Blackmagic Design Microconverter uh, SDI to HDMI unit. And then we have two of the Blackmagic Mini Converters, the 3G version and the 6G version. And then lastly, just kind of peeking in the top, this is the Monoprice SDI to HDMI adapter. They make two of them. This is actually their, fa their fancier unit. The less expensive unit is pretty similar to this one here. So for the test that we're doing today, what I've done is I've taken the output of this video loop that's playing here, uh, split it, SDI signal to the monitor here on the right, and then going through a converter to this regular off-the-shelf Vizio TV on the left, uh, and so we see how well they work. Um, the SDI uh, video is also being run through a Decimator Design MD Cross converter, so I can convert to different formats, and so we can get an idea of how well each of these units does the conversion with different formats. So since I've got the, already got the mono price hooked up, uh, let's take a look at it. You can see that I've currently got the signal outputting uh, a 3G uh, 1920 by 1080 at 59.94 frames per second. And we come back over to these, the, the control tab of the software here. This controls the decimator. And we'll see that we're outputting level A. So right now we can see that the Monoprice adapter is successfully converting a 3G level A signal to HDMI, and TV is able to recognize it. Now, if I switch over to level B, things aren't so pretty. You can see that the converter doesn't know what to do with that signal. Uh, one of the nice things about using this particular TV is that it will still output a signal even if it doesn't understand it. So, some of the other video display devices that I've tested don't do that. They'll just go to a black screen when they don't know what to do. But in this case, you can see that the, the monoprice does not know what to do with a 3G level B signal. Uh, so for my own purposes, that means this unit fails. Uh, it does accept other sources. So if I, for example, uh, 1080i 5994, that signal is actually passed successfully. So. It's only, on this converter, the only only format that I did not find that it was able to convert is the 3G level uh, B. It does do level A, it does not do level B. Blackmagic Design switching equipment like I use outputs level B, so therefore this unit is not the most friendly for, for the type of work I'm doing. All right, so let's, let's swap this out. Yep. Okay, there we go. So this unit is uh, successfully passing a 1080i signal. No, no problem there. Uh, it's working without any problem. Now we'll switch over to a 3G. Okay, and then come over here and set it to level A, and see what we get. Okay, so this one does accept a 3G level A signal. Uh, it also did the 1080i. And we'll switch it to level B. And see what happens. 
Yeah, again, same thing as the Monoprice. I suspect that these actually have similar electronics inside. The big difference between them is that the Monoprice has an SDI out for daisy chaining to a second second converter. So for the type of work I'm doing, this unit is also a fail because I shoot everything, most everything, at least 1080p. Right, here's the AV matrix. Uh, one of the nice things about this unit is it comes with a more flexible power solution. It comes with a USB cable and then a USB power adapter. So this can actually be powered off of any USB power source. So if a laptop or projector even, I have, I have powered this off a projector and it works just fine. All right, so there it is. It is passing a 3G level A signal, no problem. And we'll switch to level B and see what happens. The manufacturer claims it supports B and indeed it, indeed it does. So the AV matrix SC1112 does pass on the 3G level B test. Therefore, it will work with Blackmagic gear. Uh, there is one thing about this unit I don't particularly like. If the video source ever gets shut off, it goes to this test pattern, which could be a little awkward, uh, depending on where and when that might show up. You know, if you're using these to hook up TVs for a corporate presentation and the signal goes dead or for whatever reason, this is what you'd be left with. And I tried to talk to the manufacturer about this at NAB, and there was a huge language barrier. They didn't understand what I was asking. Despite talking to three different people with a booth, they didn't understand my question of whether you could disable that test pattern or not. They didn't seem to know what I was talking about. Anyway, I do like this product. It's nice, nicely built. It does come with a bracket uh, if you wanted to, if you needed to mount it on a, on a wall or on, on the back of a piece of equipment, you can screw it down. Uh, nice and hefty. It does have the SDI loop out, so again, you can daisy chain. And I do like the power solution being able to be powered over USB or, or AC. Okay, next one we'll move on to the Blackmagic Design microconverter, SDI to HDMI. So I'll lock that up. This one also has a USB power input. However, the power, power supply that it comes with, it, it's hard wired, so you can't separate, you can't, it doesn't come with a proper cable if you wanted to power it off of, say, a laptop or, 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 or even a projector. Uh, I have tested it. It does work being powered off a USB port on a projector. That works just fine. All right, so here we go. We're, so we're currently on 3G level B, and it supports that. Obviously, since that, that's the format that Blackmagic preferred, that a Blackmagic product would support it. Now I'll switch over to level A and see if it works with that. Yes, it does. So this unit does work with both level A and level B. We have 3G, uh, 1080p, 59.94 video. Um, there is one thing about this that drives me nuts, and you can confirm this on Blackmagic forums. This has a, a significant problem with audio where the audio will work fine for a little while, and then it'll become very, very, very garbled and sound absolutely terrible. And it stays that way for a few minutes, and then it goes back to sounding OK. Um, any number of users have reported it in the forum. Uh, Blackmagic is basically seems to be ignoring the problem. They've in issued a few firmware updates for other things, like level A support, but they still haven't fixed the audio problem in this. It still distorts the audio. So if audio is important in your conversion, do not get this product. Get one of the others instead. Uh, I, would rec I would actually recommend the AV Matrix or another one that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Okay, moving on. So we'll move to one of the Blackmagic Design mini converters. We'll start with the standard 3G version. Uh, this product's been around for quite a number of years. I remember seeing these advertised back in like 2012. Reliability is a little bit iffy, but uh, they do seem to work. All right, so hook it all up. There we go, yeah. And we're still on level A, so we already know that level A works, and of course, since it's Blackmagic Design, we know that level B is gonna work as well. Um, these have a couple of adv advantages that the smaller ones don't have. Uh, for example, it has audio outputs, so if you needed to run the audio into a separate sound system or whatever, the audio is available there on the outputs. It also has an alternate SDI in, so if the first signal goes dead, you can uh, fail over to a second signal. And then, like many of the others, it has a SDI loop out, so you can connect to another converter. Um, 
that's uh, about it for that one. And if you step up to the 4K version, which I'm, I'll just go ahead and swap that out, you do get a few more features. Um, one of them is what something they call HDMI Instant Lock, which basically uh, allows you to switch SDI video sources on the input, and it delays the signal enough so that there's a consistent uh, signal coming out on the output. It's, it's always in sync. And so if you're constantly switching it between SDI sources on there, you don't, you're not forcing the TV to resync. The, the converter actually does the sync for you. Uh, it also uh, supports 4K video as well, since uh, it is the 4K version of, of the product. Um, and that's about it. If you step up to the Terranex Mini version of this, uh, it supports 12 gig, not just uh, 6 gig like this does. And they also give you a 3D LUT table in that version as well. But at that point, you're stepping up to a product that's like $500 instead of the 300 or or 285-ish, two, somewhere in there, or like 185, 190 of that one. So um, there is one other one that I don't have yet that I wanted to tell you about. That's one I saw it and announced it in NAB and actually got to look at a little bit. It's a new product from Decimator Designs. It's the MDLX. It's $99. And the cool thing about it is it, it converts both directions from SDI to HDMI and, and HDMI to SDI at the same time. It also serves as kind of a uh, a splitter, so if you only have the HDMI hook input hooked up, the same signal gets output to the HDMI output and the SDI output. Likewise, if the HDMI input is not uh, is left empty and the SDI input is connected, that SDI signal will pass to both the SDI output and the HDMI output. So it's very similar to the MDHX that I've talked about in other videos, without the frame rate converter, without the scaler built in. So that looks like a pretty appealing product, and if you might possibly need bi-directional. That's going to be a great way to go. Uh, otherwise, my personal recommendation is going to be the AV Matrix. These sell for $79 on Amazon. There will be a link in the description. I really like this product. Uh, aside from that one weird quirk where it shows that test pattern whenever there's no signal on the input. But other than that, it's a pretty nice product. Um, I do question how good of technical support you're going to get. This is a Chinese company. They don't have much of a U.S. presence. presence. So um, if you needed help, I'm it may be a little iffy on that, though I haven't had a chance to actually test it myself. Um, so other than that, um, if you don't need 3G or you have, or your 3G level A, these little $35 converters, they work well enough. And they have a flexible power input. They'll work anywhere from, from 5 to 12 volts, so you can with a proper adapter, you could run it off USB, USB power from a laptop or whatever, or uh, a 12 volt power supply that you happen to have nearby. Um, they do work, um, but if you need a, a just kind of the best all around product here, I think is probably the AV matrix. Uh, if you do need to step up to having analog outputs or have more more uh, reliability through re redundancy, the alternate SDI on the the Blackmagic mini converters is nice to have. But other than that, the products do what they say they're going to do uh, as long as you know, some of them don't support level, level B, 3G, but uh, they are what they are. So based on that, uh, cho choose the one that has the features that you're looking for. All right, All right so, so going over those briefly again. again. So, so the first one we looked at is the monoprice price adapter. adapter. Uh, that, that one, one no level, level 3G level B support. support. Uh, pretty, pretty affordable. affordable. I think it's about 70, 60, 70 dollars somewhere in there. Uh, and I have the generic Chinese version, which is very, very similar. You can even see that the design, the, the casings are very similar. Uh, again, no level B support. Uh, about 30, 35 dollars on Amazon, and eBay. The AV Matrix SC1112. Uh, my recommendation for most people. Uh, the Blackmagic Design Micro Converter, and then the Blackmagic Design Mini Converters in both the 3 gig and the 6 gig 4K versions. Now, if you actually decide to purchase any of these, I'd really appreciate it if you do it through the links that are down below in the description. That gives me a few pennies on the dollar in order to help fund these videos. I, I purchase all this stuff out of my own pocket. The manufacturers are not sending this to me uh, for either, to either own or as a loaner for review. This is all me funding this. 
So any help you can give, it's very much appreciated. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comments below as well. I do try to answer questions as, as quickly as possible. Uh, be also, be, sh be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, you'll be notified of other videos. I've got more exciting things coming, so if you want to be notified of that, make sure you subscribe uh, to the channel. So other than that, I um, hope you enjoy these videos and hope you have a great day.